Well, Spider-Man finally got spooked at the box office over the weekend. Here's film critic Will Loper with the latest numbers. Hey, Mark and Susan, Spidey is finally dethroned from number one at the box office. And all it took was a 25-year-old horror franchise to do it. Scream 5, or just Scream, made an impressive debut with $30.6 million. What's your favorite scary movie? The Scream series began in 1996 with Sidney Prescott, played by Nev Campbell, being stalked by a killer in a ghost mask. It's just, what's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. The series was marked for its self-referential script, calling attention to the cliches of the genre. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. And that continued in the following sequels. The way I see it, someone's out to make a sequel. You know, cash in on all the movie murder hoopla. So it's our job to observe the rules of the sequel. And this new screen picks right up with commentary on keeping long-running franchises alive. There's certain rules to surviving. The plot is the same as the other four. Someone new is wearing the ghost face mask, and our heroes have to find out who it is. I've seen this movie before. Not this movie. Fans of the horror genre will be satisfied, and if nothing else, it's nice to check back in with the Scream characters we know and love, Sydney, Dewey, and Gale. I've been through this a lot. On streaming services, new on HBO Max is the series Peacemaker. I thought you were in prison for life. I work for the government. Post office? Do you think they'd let me out of prison and deliver mail? I don't know. It's the first government job I could think of. John Cena returns as the anti-hero from James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. Two jerks in costumes and a couple of rejects. It's like a real team out there. Also new on HBO Max is the series Somebody Somewhere. I lost my sister six months ago. You know, I keep trying to go through her stuff and I get kind of stuck. Twelve thirty. Bridget Everett plays a Kansas woman who moves back to her hometown and doesn't know where she fits in, but she finds purpose in singing. I haven't done this for a long time. And returning this Friday for the first half of its final season is Ozark. Omar Navarro wants to cut a deal with the FBI. What would it take? More than he's willing to give. Do this and you are free of your obligation to me. Jason Bateman and Laura Linney return as the money laundering Marty and Wendy Bird in the crime saga. And streaming on Apple TV Plus Friday is the 1980s reboot you never knew you needed, A Fraggle Rock, Back to the Rock. Tell us in song. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> not long before everything in the world gets a reboot. For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper.